All right, TV Weld here. What we're going to do today is we're going to cut with a stick welder. You kind of see a question mark at the end of that because obviously a welder is not meant to cut, right? Um, it actually works fairly well. Uh, how you're going to do this is you're going to switch to direct current electrode negative from direct current electrode positive. Electricity is flowing from negative to positive, which is going to equal two thirds of your heat going into your plate or whatever you're cutting. If it was direct current electrode positive, you don't have one third onto the uh, plate or whatever you're cutting. So you're going to switch that to direct current electrode negative, increase your heat going down into whatever you're cutting. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to crank your amperage. Uh, really all you got to do is just go up there and crank it anywhere above 200 amps and it's going to be really, really hot. Uh, also if there's a uh, arc force button or a, uh, you know, sometimes there's a dig button, you want to crank that up too because you want to gouge right in there. You want to use a 6010 or a 6011 rod. Those are uh, root pass rods. They're meant to gouge in, so they're more violent. You don't want to use a 7018. It's got less uh, heat, less violence when it goes into the actual material. Uh, and right before you start this, you're going to want to dip the rod in water because the rod's going to get really, really hot. This water aids in cooling and allows you to uh, keep the rod longer uh, for a longer period of time. All right, some advantages versus disadvantages of using this as a cutting process. First of all, the advantages, it gets into tight places. That electrode can go into places where you can't get a big giant torch into. Um, it's got a concentrated heat. It's not uh, a flame, so there's not flame shooting everywhere. You can put it on something and not have to worry about burning something fairly close to it. Um, it takes a lot of material out. If you crank it up real high and just move it around, it'll blow a huge amount of material out of there. Uh, it's portable. Um, typically, well, I'm going to do it on a generator welder, so you can take the generator welder and do it in the field without uh, having to worry about the bottles, especially the safety aspects of the bottles. And you also don't have the safety aspect of having acetylene, you know, flammable gas uh, with you. Disadvantages, it's kind of a poor cut quality. If you're going to weld it, you're going to need to clean it, so you're going to have to grind. Um, there's also safety disadvantages. Um, for the safety as well as advantages of the safety. You got a lot of smoke and you got falling material because you're using an electrode, the material is dropping down. So you want to make sure you got good steel toe leather boots on or you're going to catch your feet on fire. Make sure you got uh, no frayed pant legs and things like that because it's got a lot of material going everywhere. So uh, we're going to go out in the lab and we're going to fire this thing up. All right, the first thing we're going to do is come over here to this electrode positive and we're going to switch it to negative. Then we're going to come over here, and like I said, there's a stiff button on this one, so we're going to go 60 to 10 there. Then I'm going to fire this generator up, and I'm going to crank the amperage up above 200. All right, this is our setup here. Just got our ground right here, stinger. I got a big giant fan to suck these fumes off. Um, it's going to be a lot of smoke. Hopefully, you can see what we're doing. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over and dip this in the water. Your uh, electrode, if you have some old stuff that's in a cabinet that's probably no good anymore, you probably don't want to use that because it's just destroying this. You don't want to use good stuff if you got old stuff um, because you're really doing something that's not intended for. It, so, go over here, dip in the dunk tank. This will uh, now absorb a little bit more heat. We got her in the stinger now, so uh, we'll do a distance shot, then we'll do some close ones so you can kind of see what's going on. I'll fire the generator up, get the fan going, and we'll get this thing going.
weld or to cut through steel. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.